Elizabeth Alvarez joins us with proof from University <laughs> Heights. Hey, Liz. Nailed it, Paul. I love the way you preface this. Yes, and that's exactly. I'm in City Heights, right on the side of this MMA studio. And take a look. Uh, yeah, Tony Gwynn indeed was larger than life. Uh, the Padres great now has a mural painted here by a couple from Chula Vista, Paul and Sina. They did this in five days. It was completed last Friday. And this is a couple who, you know, was laid off because of COVID-19. They weren't even professional artists, if you will. They were in the food industry. Paul said he was a server. Sina, who you'll meet and see right now in a moment, she was a barista. They got laid off and they turned to just their passion to to pass some time, started painting, tried spray painting, practiced in the backyard of uh, one of their mom's home. And then they got the call from Love City Heights, a nonprofit organization here in the community whose mission is to beautify the city. They find artists to paint and make these murals. There's about a dozen of them, but none like this one, this huge mural. You're seeing the process. This is footage from uh, Paul and Senna's uh, Instagram account as they began the process of painting Tony Gwynn, the late great, as I like to refer to him, Tony Gwynn. Now, I asked Paul, well, well why Tony Gwynn and why uh, depict him back in the 80s? This was a 1987 season look. And here's what he said. My favorite thing about it is that it's um, here just for the community. Um, we paint for, of course, it's, it's very... Um, it feels fulfilling for us, but to see the reactions of other people, um, you know, admiring a hero of theirs up on this big wall, it just feels great. My whole life I've really looked up to like 60s, 70s, 80s fashion, and I think a lot has to do because I really looked up to my grandpa and my dad, and I, and I was really into it. So then I started collecting hats, like even this hat's from the 80s, and now I would collect and sell those for all the way through since high school to now. Uh, and, and like I was like, if I'm going to do a Tony Gwynn, it has to be the Jerry Curl mustache, brown and orange Tony Gwynn, like the one that, that like I idolized as a kid. And there you have it, you guys. Uh, the mural is up. So many people have been walking by in the community and just saying, shouting to us as we've been out here live for the last few hours saying it's beautiful. It's great. Bravo. Claps and whatnot. So uh, that's the backstory between the artists. Now, the artists, uh, again, Paul and Senna are onto another project. In fact, they're down the street at a high school. I'm going to touch base with them in the next couple of weeks on that project. But now they're, they've turned really their passion and their innate, uh, obvious talent into perhaps a little business. Now, they didn't get paid for doing this. They did it just out of the goodness of their own heart because you heard her say that it was, you know, for the community and they were proud to do it. And, you know, they're not really working right now. Um, so they decided to do that. But obviously they would love to turn this into something and make some money. And, and it's very likely that the nonprofit will reimburse them uh, very soon as they turn in receipts for the spray paints and all that that they got to create this. But um, indeed, a, an extraordinary, I think, mural. It's beautiful. It really captures the essence of Tony Gwynn, how awesome and great he was. Um, Mr. Padre, look at the intensity of his eyes. And I love the the kind of yellow hue that, um, you know, the yellow tint that you see to his, to his eyes. Um, it's just beautiful. So this is what's happening out here in City Heights, again, along University Avenue. 4151 is the MMA studio, which sadly, by the way, is closed because of COVID-19 uh, right now. But um, in three weeks, hopefully the business will get back uh, up and running. And uh, again, this is for the community to see the beauty in what really is San Diego. We're live here in City Heights this morning. We'll send things back to you. Well, that should hurly, hurl, certainly help with drive up traffic as far as getting people through the turnstile. Yeah. Once, if, once they do yeah. get open. Yeah. I'd be interested to see what the uh, Gwynn family has to say about it. Uh, I, they have to be taken blown away by it. Well, his son already commented, yeah. right? Loved it so. It's great.
Yeah, that's what they said. Uh, Tony Gwynn Jr. actually uh, said thank you so much, you know, alluded to the fact that uh, it was a job well done. And the San Diego Padres organization also uh, tweeted uh, out that they thought that it was just uh, it was brilliant. It was magnificent. It's, so um, it's so they're well definitely done. getting some not only response from the community, but obviously from the Gwynn family and the Padres organization. Which is important. All right. Great. Very cool. Thanks, Lynn. Yeah. Thank you.